Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. This is going to be something a little bit different and it's not going to be a regular thing or anything, but I'm going to be doing my Sims 4 house tour. I know that Sims 4 comes out on consoles um, in November next month and Sims 4 Cats and Dogs comes out on November 10th, which I am so excited about. It's one of my most anticipated of the year. Well, I only heard about it recently, you know, they only announced it and then I saw that vet trailer and I just know it's going to suck up all my time. Uh, but before I even saw that, I wanted to do a new house um, for getting a few dogs and stuff. So you can see here, here's the little path up to it. It's kind of set a little bit far back. And we have a little porch area. And it is decorated for Halloween at the moment. Because obviously, you know, Halloween is coming up. We've also got a little log thing out the front there. And it's all set on a foundation so it's all raised up. So like you can see the little pumpkins, it's got that little hat on, we've got some flowers, you know, draped around and some flowers in the little, I don't know, porch front area. And obviously it has got a little roof part as well. So I really, really like that kind of front porch. What are we calling it? I don't know. Front porch, that's what we'll call it. So yeah, you can just kind of see a better side view of it there. Um, but yeah, so I really like that. Really, really cute. I can't wait to decorate it for Christmas as well. And then there's our mailbox. And then here you can I love this. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite parts of the house. And it's annoying because the tree uh, keeps disappearing when I try and show you. So, you know, the tree overhangs and you've got the whole pond. The pond bridge is a little bit questionable because obviously the house had foundations. So it was a little bit hard to do. But for now, I think it's okay. I might tweak it. Uh, we've got some nice lily pads in the pond and um, obviously loads of flowers around it and little water reeds there's also a little kind of fountain thing in there um, and then just some kind of rocks and stuff like that so yeah I really like the pond and we come across and we've got more kind of flowers and pond stuff and then there's also a little bench area where you could just sit and sit in front of the pond and, and enjoy it kind of thing so that's one of my favourite garden features is, is the pond area and if you wanted to know how to do a pond, if you haven't done before, I just use the swimming pool feature, so it's not really a pond. <laughs> um, then we come over to this little area here where we've got something that has a little roof, and inside we've got a hot tub, and again, it's got some steps up to it. We've got some plants and some lights. Uh, inside, you can kind of see there's those, there's some fairy lights inside, uh, but it was kind of difficult to show. So I just dropped the roof off so that you can kind of see them a little bit better. And I've got some little candles on the side there, if you can see those. I think that's super cute. We've got a hedge kind of lining this area, so it kind of blocks it in a little bit. And then a little nice outdoor seating area where we have a barbecue and a fire pit. And actually another another one of those wood uh, log things over there. Uh, there's some floating sources on the side table there, so I need to sort that out. Uh, there's still a few tweaks actually with this house that I do need to arrange and, and sort out. So just kind of bear that in mind. Again, there's the barbecue and the logs, and this bit here is leading to the conservatory, but obviously I'll show you that later. And then we have this part here, which is out of the decking. Again, we've got some pumpkins, um, but it's just a really nice space to go and hang out, and you kind of you exit through the conservatory rather than through the back decking. So you can see, again, we've got some nice flowers, another barbecue for some reason, because you know you never have too many barbecues. We've got a little cauldron there, because again, it's for Halloween. And just kind of a nice little cute sitting area, but yeah, I really like this bit. I quite in, like quite a lot of the outside areas where you could just sit and enjoy. I feel like I would like that uh, in my garden. All different places you can go and have different um, garden vibes. Uh, got another little bench there as well, and again, lots of flowers. I love the flowers in gardens. I feel like it's a really important part. And there's just an overview of that section. And again, there's the pond, and we come around here past the porch again. And we have loads of trees over in this area and a climbing frame just just by the trees because I thought that was fun because in this house there is a mum, a dad and two kids. One is a child and one is a toddler. Then we come over here to the swimming pool which is pretty basic to be honest. It's just a swimming pool. It's got one of the jumping platforms um, where you can kind of dive in and obviously a ladder because you don't want your sins to drown. Oh, Then again they wouldn't be able to get in there without the ladder. When I was younger I would take the ladder away to see what happened and yeah um then we come here and we have the kind of driveway garage type of thing it doesn't have a door but obviously you can't have cars in sims 4 at the moment but if you could that's where we put the car and that's where i'm hoping that the sims would put their car and i feel like it was just a really cute nice feature and i like how it makes the house look 
Um, but yes, let's take a look inside. Dun -ba -dun. We go in here to the everything really. It's kind of open plan downstairs. There's the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room all in one. But of course, first we have kind of an entrance way where I've got some coats hanging up and some shoes and stuff, uh, which I always really like. Again, we've got some Halloween stuff out in the kitchen. Uh, this is the kitchen area. It's just it's quite basic, but I like it. Um, kind of a what do you call it? Mm, Traditional-ish look or rustic kind of cabiny it, it has all got log cabiny vibes i feel uh, we've got kind of more traditional oven again with the logs underneath i really like that kind of um logs about everywhere so i like that and yes the kitchen and then you can see that's where it leads out to the back deck and then we have a little actual study area as well in this part where again bookshelves nice rug uh, office chair and desk which is just again that whole little area but it's still all open plan without having its own individual study. This is where you would sit to eat food, like kind of like a dining table area, but not really because it is just a dining table in the middle of the room. And then heading over here, we have the living room area. This is like a little trunk there with some bits and bobs on. And um, we've got some wall decorations, which is nice. And two sofas and a fireplace. Again, I really like fireplaces and logs and all things like that. And they have got a TV up there on the wall, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, just a cute little area. And then down here, there's like a secret hidden bit past the stairs where there's a character just walking down the stairs there. You can see there's a little door and a clock down here. And I really love that because I feel like it's kind of hidden off and you wouldn't notice it. And this leads into the conservatory area. So that's cool. This has kind of got lots of creative stuff in. As you can see, we've got someone playing the piano. There's a guitar and a violin. A bookcase because I love to have bookcases everywhere in the house. We've got the little globe where you can get drinks from and just a really nice cute little seating area so you can sit there and I really love these rugs. There's like a fur rug. I really love those and again some plants because I love the plants and there is an easel in there as well so again lots of creative stuff in the conservatory. It's just a nice big open space. So we will head upstairs. Okay so this is the landing area here. And I try to explain about this wall. This is what I'm doing here. Like, I've forgotten why I've put this little wall up. If you can see, there's an outside wall and then there's a little inside wall. I can't remember the purpose behind this. There was one and I've forgotten it. So I might get rid of that. I'm not sure. Either way, just, just move on past the double wall situation. Um, to be fair, it kind of works because then I can have a window outside without having to have one on the inside there. So, I don't know. The landing is just pretty basic. You know, we've got rugs, a few decorations this is the main bedroom this is the entrance into the main bedroom which is obviously the parents bedroom so we're gonna head on in and show you in there uh once you come in we've got another bookcase like i say i really like the bookcases a photo and a mirror we've got a wardrobe which is, i need to swap that because this is an annoying wardrobe um with that rug again that i said i like but in a different color a little seat because those doors open out onto a little balcony area so it'd be nice to sit there as you can see that that goes all the way along so i think that's a really cool feature to have and then this is obviously the kind of main bedroom bit we've got the bed and two bedside tables a little trunk at the end of the bed with some plants on um this is a little tv over there on those chest drawers there is a cot in here because the toddler only just aged up and we have this spooky bear out for halloween so that's kind of kind of cool um, yeah, and there's a little door here leading into the bathroom, so it connects the main bedroom to the to the bathroom, even though this is a joint everybody bathroom. The bathroom itself is pretty basic, to be honest. I've not really got a lot to say about it. It's it's not too big. It's you've got a run of worktops, a sink, a shower, a bath, and a toilet. It has got a corner bath, which aren't my favourites, but they are kind of really fun in The Sims house because the um, the jacuzzi ones so that's pretty cool uh, we've got some robes and laundry baskets there are a few things on the wall which you can kind of see there but yeah that's just kind of just the is a basic bathroom and the door comes out here onto the landing so yeah kind of two doors in so that can kind of get confusing and then we come over to the kids bedroom which you can kind of see by the decorations on the outside 
and we'll head in there. So we've got again two girls, one child, one toddler. So that's kind of decorated very girly, and I just really liked it like this. I love that clock with the gold and the purple. We've got a little desk area and a ch um, you know dra treasure drawers. And a big dollhouse, which I can nearly consider putting a smaller one, but I do really like it. We've got some more of those fairy lights up the back there, over the windows. Obviously a mirror, a toddler bed, and a... Um, actually, I think this is an adult bed. It's not even a teen bed. Uh, with a toy chest there, and a lovely little rug. Bedside table, and some nice kind of stickers on the walls as well. And I don't know if you can see, but we've got the cloud... Um, lights in here as well. The cloud overhead lights, but I don't think I show them. Um, but yes, the beds kind of match, which is what I kind of was going for. Again, more books. Gotta have books everywhere. And I love this giraffe rug. Well, it's actually not a rug, it's just floor print, but I made it into a rug because I wanted a giraffe rug. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the whole house and everything overview. It's just kind of a, it's just pretty basic really, but I just like it. I like how it feels homey and cosy. And I'm looking forward to having a couple of dogs in this house. And the mum of this house is going to be a vet and run a veterinary clinic when Sims for Cats and Dogs comes out. So I'm really, really excited about that. And yeah, I don't have too much more to say, bar that I was just showing you around. Oh, and you can kind of see here the scenery around the outside as well. Now I'm doing this and a bit more of that garage thing I was talking about and how that kind of works. I just thought it was more fun than having the like two floors and then having a conservatory at the back. I just thought it was a little bit more fun and creative. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know if you play The Sims 4 and if you are looking forward to Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of that. I've really been enjoying The Sims 4. I know it's some people still have some problems with it but for the most part I really enjoy it. Sims 4 Cats and Dogs come out. It's going to, it's going to be the icing on the cake for me. I feel like I'll spend more time running the veterinary clinic than anything else because at the most part I enjoy building houses but yeah let me know your thoughts and I I will see you all next time thank you so much for watching and yeah goodbye